Hey there, thanks for stopping by. And if you're new to my channel, welcome. Now today's tutorial or demonstration is going to be all about drawing an old gate or actually sort of a door that I actually resurrected from a fire. Well, it wasn't a fire, but it was going to head into the, it was heading for the fire heap where all the scrap wood goes. Honestly, it was so heavy. It was made out of solid native timber. Anyway, I got it back here. It's all about using the grid method to draw and, and to show how to, to bring out the grain and the, and, and the, and the texture of the, of the timber. That's what I'm trying to say. All right. Well, come on then. Let's get started. All right, well for today, I've, um, I've gone ahead and done, we're using, we're using the grid to do an old um, gate or door, um, and we're using the grid to do it. So I've gone ahead, you've seen me use the grid before, and I've just done the outline of everything, so we've got the line drawing down. Now the reason I'm doing it this way is because really I just want to do a little exercise in shading how to get the you know the, the look of the the grain of the wood and the different textures and that so basically that's what we're, what we're trying to do today so i've done the outline i'm going to use the, the side of the pencil to create the different textures so to start off with we're just going to come down here and, and by doing it like this it, it creates that grainy texture you know, without me having to do anything, really. I'm just very, very lightly going over this. And I've also got the colour photo as a reference as well. I like to go between both of them. Either, either one, or like each one, picks out different. You know, obviously the black and white is what we're drawing in, the, the, the grey scale and the colour gives it a little bit um, well in some places where I can see uh, like the grain here which is much easier to pick up it's not always the case but to pick up on this one um, as opposed to this one it's there but it's in more detail on here and that's not always the case as I say you use whatever ever method or technique you can now yeah. it's well weathered this old resurrection like I say I've got a, I think I've got the spot for it in my garden it's gonna look good it takes me back to the time you know and I think to myself when it was actually constructed and made you know like this timber is so heavy Honestly, I don't know what it's made from, but it's native timber, and it is so heavy that you just about need two people to carry it. Now, I've done the, the little washers here, a little nut and bolt. Now, obviously, there's going along here. I will put those in there. Um, the wood at the back there which is holding the, 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 the front of the gate or the door in place so just, just see the edge there now you can use a magnifying glass for the detail stuff if you more your eyesight's not the best what I find if I'm using a magnifying glass, I don't use it very often, it's best to just have a little on the side somewhere, have a little practice. Because it takes a bit of getting used to <laughs> your pencil and everything all lined up. Holding the pencil flat on its side, you can go over that too, but it doesn't matter too much. It's sort of a bit 
bit darker across here, which you can see on the black and white much clearer different tone there than what you can on the colour, although you can see it, but you know, it's more noticeable on here. So just bearing in mind that we are doing the black and white image, so I'm just going to darken that a little bit. And I'm only just really using the weight of the pencil, I'm not pushing down. Just to get a bit more like the the reference photo. And of course as we come down we it's there's some curious shapes in here. And you'll find too that the just by doing this, your pencil and the and the paper, the graphite, picks up all these little things. This is like the underdrawing how I'm doing now, and then of course um, I want to come in now and just put in, uh, like I said, a bit darker in here. And it's like there's a little, a little line. Um, running from here. I'll take a bit out and then it sort of comes over. Here, like that. It's hardly noticeable, but it is there. So we might as well just put it in. See, it gives it like a little U or V, and then that will come down. And there's a darker line following that along. Seems to be more grainy at the top here. You can see the lines. Um, you see that in here, then down. And, and, and the further we go down, this, on this particular board anyway, it just gives us all these little beautiful little shapes and imperfections. No matter if we go over the edge a bit, we always rub it out. Keep the pencil on paper, don't take it off. Now I just want to, I'm going to use, go back to my, this is a 0.2 lead this one, it's very very fine and very very easy to break. But I want to use it on here just to create this little pieces that's around this nut and bolt. You know, it's where they've tightened it up so tight that it's indented into the wood. There's no washer on that by the look of it, it's just a nut and the bolt. Right, now I want to go and just use the blending brush just to soften it up. There you go. It's just about the first one done. Soften that up a bit, especially that where I've gone with the blending stump, it's really 
softened it. And I'm just gonna just even soften it a bit more so it's not looking so blurry. And we'll take a little bit here and there. Going over the bits that we'd that we'd gone over again. Let's take a bit more out. Let's just take away that sort of smudgy look. We're still going to blend it again, though. As I say, it's just an exercise and shading techniques to create the structure and on a wooden, an old wooden gate. Well, it was either a gate or a door, but there was something there that had, was on hinges anyway. So you get the idea of it. I'm just gonna speed things up a little bit here and I don't wanna dwell too much. I don't wanna make it too long.
Well, that's about it. We've got most of the detail in there now. So I'm just going to just tidy up the grid, take the grid lines away. You know, as always, there's always a little bit more you can do, but that gives you the idea of it. frog in the old throat at the moment, for some reason. Not sore or anything. Gee. I think that's do us for now. There you go. Oh, like I said, a bit more needs to be done up here. As always, there's always something more to do. Well, not always, but we usually overlook something. <laughs> anyway, there's us. Well, I hope you enjoyed that. Now, really, it's just an exercise in, 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 in basic shapes, because that's all it is. And just doing a bit of shading, just take your time, you know, and, and pause often. If you wanted to follow along, it's, it's not a hard drawing to do. It's like anything else. They all start at the beginning and just slowly work your way, building up layers. And, um, and, then, and that's, that's what you get at the end of it. But it's, it's all about patience, taking your time. All right. So thanks a lot for watching and if you're new to my channel, please give me a thumbs up, leave a comment, subscribe and hit the, the, hit the bell and, and that way you'll get notified every time a new video comes out. Alright, so once again, thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one.